For the next two weeks, the challenge I'm taking on is gut health with gut health queen, Marika Day. I feel like I have pretty good gut health and a pretty healthy gut, but following the coffee challenge, I really wanted to give my gut some TLC. Follow me while I do a gut health approved healthy food shop. Let's go. In the podcast, Marika and I go into detail about prebiotics and probiotics and how you can get them through food and when you might need to supplement. So for my probiotics, I'm having lots of miso, I've got tempeh, I've got kombucha, I've got sauerkraut, I've got kimchi. I'm obviously having smaller doses of these and not having them all at once. And Marika is helping me with how much I should be having because you can have too many probiotics. But I'm trying to get in as many as I can in a healthy way to get my gut firing. Yes! Yeah! She is. As a part of the gut health challenge, I am drinking two liters of water a day, which means four of these bad boys, which is a 500 ml jar. I try not to have too much before bed, because otherwise I'm up going to the bathroom all night. I'm gonna run you through some of the snacks that I've been having, which are very much gut health approved. I've got some rice cakes here with some sweet potato, avocado, and hummus. I've been having rice cakes like every afternoon and topping it with like tofu or vegetables. Um, avocado, basically like whatever leftovers I have in the fridge, I pop on some corn things as a snack. Another snack I've been having is fruit. Basically just trying to get in as much fruit and vegetable as I can. Another part of my homework for this gut health challenge is to chew my food 20 times minimum per mouthful. So the instructions were to chew your food until it's like a baby food consistency, until it almost slides down your throat. That is a lot of chewing. <laughs> this is a skill that I need to learn and it's a habit that I keep forgetting. Every time I eat, I need to remind myself to slow down and chew my food. Your turn. Physically, I feel great. My skin has cleared up. I'm not bloating. I'm going to the bathroom regularly. I'm digesting really well. I feel really energized. I feel fuller for longer. And my gut has just been loving this challenge, especially after quitting coffee. It was quite a uh, shock to the system. So for this one, I feel nourished. Mentally, I'm feeling really good. I feel sharp. I feel clear. I feel focused and productive. I'm still finding I'm rushing through my meals when I'm eating with friends. And when I'm socializing, I find it quite hard to be really mindful with my eating. So that's something that I am working on. But day 10, I feel great. And this gut health challenge is epic. Head to podcast1australia.com.au for the full podcast. Thanks for watching.